Chris, what is our third main topic today? This one comes from Beta Ray Phil. <laughs> I'll admit that I thought you were crazy when you said that Warner was still going to release The Flash, but I guess you were right. In the WB Discovery call, they confirmed they were still releasing it and were actually, quote, excited about it. With all the Ezra drama, I find it weird they'd keep The Flash when other projects like Batgirl get the axe. What do you think about this movie, and do you think they could change their mind at some point and still scrap it? All right, thanks a lot for saying that in, Beta Ray Phil. Great username, by the way. Right? Um, yeah, so we are going to talk more about the, the WB stuff, because a, a lot came out a lot in that WB investor call yesterday. That, and we have a lot of ground to cover. But yeah, one of the things that they affirmed is something that they already said a couple of weeks ago when we talked about on this show, is that they are committed to releasing The Flash. They're going to be releasing it. Now, let's before I talk about my perspective on this, let's actually go and, and read the quote here. This comes to us from Variety, who write the following. The Flash movie starring Ezra Miller is still a go, despite the actor's numerous scandals this year. We have seen The Flash, Black Adam, and Shazam 2, said Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav during the company's Q2 earnings call on Thursday. We are very excited about them. We've seen them. We think they are terrific, and we think we can make them even better. So that's where this is all coming from, is that they said, listen, we've seen this movie. We think Andy Muschietti did a fantastic job making this movie. We think this is a movie we can be proud of, like quality, quality wise. We believe this is a movie we can be proud of and we're going to put out. Now, just we've said this a couple of times in, in the last couple of days, but because you bring it up, it's like you thought like, wow, you think they would cancel that since they canceled things like Batgirl. Remember, and we're going to get more into this in the next topic, but the reason they canceled Batgirl, pulled the plug on Batgirl was because of the quality of the film. And we're going to get into that in a second that they believe that it is would be damaging to the public's perception of the quality of DC films if they put it out, as opposed to just scrapping it and taking the tax right down. That is a different situation with The Flash. They didn't cancel Batgirl because Leslie Grace failed to tip a waitress at the local Applebee's. They didn't pull the plug on it because one of the directors, you know, kicked a baby seal in the face while walking along the beach. They canceled it because... It wasn't up to their standards of quality. They didn't think it was good enough to put out. They thought, we want to rehabilitate how the public sees the quality of our movies, and Batgirl works against that, so we're canceling it. Well, again, we'll get that in a second. But that is not the case with the Flash movie. With the Flash movie, it's, we actually think this is a good movie, and we think people are going to enjoy this movie, and therefore we're going to release this movie. There's a couple things to keep in mind here. Number one is that Remember, this is something that the new ownership of Warner Brothers has inherited. This movie was made and shot prior to the current ownership coming in and taking over Warner Brothers. This was done. They didn't, the current leadership did not hire Ezra Miller. They didn't hire him. They didn't make that. They, that was that. He was in it. The Ezra stuff has been so disturbing to me because I have been well documented for a long time. This going back a couple of years, ever since he first choked that girl outside of the nightclub, I, I have been screaming. Now, this is when they were under the old leadership. I've been screaming, you got to address this. Like, you, you, like what are you doing? How, like, and I've been very, very frustrated over the years. So now here comes the new ownership of Warner Brothers. They're inheriting this problem. The movie is done. It's shot. Whatever. I can completely see, you ask at the end of your question, is this something they could change their mind of? Yes. It's totally something they could change their mind about. If more stuff comes out about Ezra and he gets found guilty of some crimes in a court and maybe things get worse, I could totally see Warner Brothers then going, yeah, you know what? It does. Oh, at this point, it almost doesn't matter how good the movie is, we're going to pull the plug. I guarantee you this, though. Ezra Miller will never be the Flash again. I guarantee it. I guarantee you they have already fired Ezra Miller. I 100% guarantee it. But they will not publicly announce that until after they put their movie out and try to get back. It's much like the old Warner Brothers playbook, right? Like Ben Affleck was out as Batman, but they went out there at Comic-Con, keep pretending like Ben Affleck was still going to be Batman, even though they wouldn't because they don't want the bad PR to whatever. So they're like, you know what? I 100% guarantee 100% guarantee you, Ezra Miller's already done. He's done. But right now, they've got this movie, this $200 million movie that is done, shot, nothing they can do about it. 
and they're going to release it and try to make as much money as they can on it, put on home video, and then they are going to move on from Ezra Miller. And so this is a situation where, as a company that's inherited the problem, I can see going either way. I could totally see scrapping it. But, Rob, you and I have both said before, you put this movie in theaters. If it's as good as they're saying it is, because An Andy Muschietti is a very good director. If this movie is as good as it is, even with whatever scandal, bare minimum, bare minimum, this movie makes $275 million. Oh, yeah. Bare minimum. And then you put it on streaming and then you move on and you move forward without it. So I am okay with this. If I was in the boardroom of Warner Brothers right now and they asked, John, should we just scrap the movie or should we run with it? I would honestly say it's a coin toss. We've got over $200 million wrapped up in this. It is a good product. As a product, it goes towards our overall goal of trying to create the impression with the general public that the quality of our films are good. So this is in line with our philosophy. But at the same time, as there's an embarrassment, it could hurt us. I mean, I, I honestly think it's a coin toss. We want to thank the sponsor of this video, Stamps.com. Now, guys, you don't need me to tell you that running a business, no matter how big or small, is an incredible stress. It feels like you need five of you for all the different directions you're being pulled in. And with all that, who's got time to go to the post office? Having to drop everything that you're doing to make a run to the post office is a major pain and drain on your day, especially when you've got more important things to do, like running your business. So stop mailing and shipping the hard way. Stamps.com is your 24-7 post office that you can access from everywhere. Skip the headache with Stamps.com. Stamps.com gives you access to all of the post office and UPS shipping services that you need right from your computer and get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 30% off USPS rates and 86% off UPS. Stamps.com just makes your life easier, guys. You're up and running in minutes, printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send it. So guys, don't mail and ship the hard way. Sign up with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code CAMP for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code CAMPIA. Rob, if you're in that room and they say, look, here's all the pros, here's all the cons, here's our situation. Robert Meyer Burnett is the new you know, chair of our woo woo. of our release committee. Way we have go, a release honey. committee Thanks, as the new chair. <laughs> We're buying a new house. Oh my God. What do we do? Do we scrap the film? Do we release it? What do you think? First of all, you know what? The, the, the public has a very short memory, and most moviegoers don't even know Ezra Miller's travails. We report it because it's entertainment news or whatever, but n most people don't care. And in a year from now, people aren't, unless he ends up killing somebody or killing himself or something horrible happens, nobody will even remember the Ezra Miller scandal except us that talk on the internet. Nobody will care. So there's enough time, it won't matter. If the movie comes out, oh, I love that Flash movie. That's all anybody's going to care about. So I would say, yes, if they know that this product is already good, you just let time pass, which they are doing. I mean, they'll, and they say well, they're going to even make it better. They're probably adding more effects or whatever they're going to do. Yeah, well, 20% more effects. 20% 20, 20 more effects. <laughs> deals, deals, he deals. runs even faster now. Um, I, I think that that it, it'll be fine. When this comes out, if the movie's great, like you say, John, winning cures everything. If this movie comes out and it's good, people will be fine. I would lock up Ezra Miller until then. You know, the studio, put <laughs> find him a nice place, a nice mountain retreat. Make sure he gets all the, the goodies he needs. Just put him up there, sequester him away. Here, buddy, uh, just, just why don't you just chill out for a while? Just no, no going put to Put a Hawaii. tracking device on his ankle. Yeah, no one, you're not going to visit anybody. Just just chill out. And 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 here, otherwise, we're going to sue you for $31 million, like Kevin Spacey. You know, I mean, that's, but I would, I, I would, they don't have to say that, but I would if I was in charge of Warner Brothers. I would say, dude. But I think seriously, in all seriousness, if the movie's good, enough time will go by, why not release it? especially if it's good. If it's along the lines, uh, and we'll talk about this, they were very clear. Zaslav was very, very clear about his plan, especially with the DC movies moving forward. And and he flat out said, these three movies that we have coming up, they're all good. He didn't mention Aquaman, probably because it's not far enough along where it's... Let me ask you this question. I, I believe, and I could be wrong, I believe beyond a shadow of a doubt myself, 
that two Warner Brothers, Ezra Miller's already fired. Like, he'll never be Flash again. Sure. Do you think there's any chance he's Flash again? No. No, because why take the risk? Because you 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 know you you now it's it's not just it's not just your post when you make a movie like this you've got two years of time you've got pre production why bet on somebody who's already proven to be erratic I mean there movies every movie itself is a gamble but if you have to gamble on your star in addition to gambling on the movie being good why why do that. Why, why open yourself up to that? There's no reason when you can hire a million other actors that would, would, would make it their life's work to give you the best Flash movie you could. They would stay on the straight and narrow. If you told it, there are actors, if you said, listen, while you're making this movie, you're going to stay in a hotel room and you can't leave that hotel room until this film is all the way through post and gets released. Yeah, you're there drinking water and eating like, saltines for the next six yeah. months. You're <laughs> done. Sign me up. <laughs> Hell because, yeah. Uh, we, we, will, we will keep you at the whatever apartments. They, they they changed the name, but there was a there was apartments right up the street from Warner Brothers. The Oak Oakhurst. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You know, yeah. People, people used to stay there all the time. You're stuck there for two years. The Oakhurst orgies. The, oh, yeah, the Oakhurst. <laughs> was that what it was? Yeah. Just you're the stuck. <laughs> and there are, many, there are many actors that would be like, fine. Yep. Do you know, it. Why? It, it, there's too much money riding on these things, and 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 there's too many people that would be bend over backwards to give you the best performance and to, to be on the straight and narrow. And we'll find those people. Chris, I, I mean, apparently they're holding to their line that they're releasing this movie. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to put the same question to you that I put to Rob. You're in the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're part of the committee. And they come to you for your perspective and your vote on this. I, I don't, what do you think would have been the right thing for them to do? First here? of all, I'd be like, "Wow, so you guys made this movie? That's <laughs> well, interesting. It's actually, real. I never <laughs> That's believed. That's really it. fascinating. <laughs> wow, bully for you. Um, well, first of all, I, I just we all know that Ezra's not coming back. That's yeah. that's just plain and simple. They're not featured in the Shazam trailer. It's the only Justice League character who you can't see their face. And sure, yep. they're running real fast, but there's a reason why that happened. So Ezra's done. We all know that. Ezra's probably not even going to be at the premiere of this film, should it No premiere. way they're going to let him be That's at the premiere. That's not going to happen. I, I just don't, I'll be, they're me, not invited. Let me change that. I, I'll be shocked if, he, if they allow him to be I at the I would premiere. be floored if they showed up. So that's all there. I stand by what I said yesterday when we were talking about this. If you are going to use phrases such as we need films that reflect the integrity of our brand... We got to be real specific with that language then, because right now, Ezra Miller does not reflect the integrity of your brand, Warner Brothers. And we'd have a big talk about that because, yes, we are waiting for people to forget about this. And I understand the common movie going audience isn't talking about this. I'm very much in a bubble. I hang out with you guys. My friends are all in the film industry, whether it's in production or even on the back end, right, for scheduling or tech. My mom doesn't know about this stuff. And every now and then it's, oh, yeah, didn't they throw a chair at somebody or something like that? You know, it's not something that's at the forefront of her mind. But she does know that a superhero movie is supposed to come out at some point. Yeah. You know, so I do wish, really wish that Warner Brothers would say something about this. I don't think that this has been the right move to continually sweep everything under the rug and just say, no, we're going forward. This movie's coming out. And it's real great, by the way, because even though this movie sounds like it's supposed to be superb, it really does just rub me the wrong way that no one has said anything about this behavior. I, I, the thing about me on this though, cause I, I felt that way for a very, very long time, but at after soul, and I believe it was a tremendous mistake for those two years that nobody said anything yeah. about it. But at some point, like as you get further and further and further and further down the line, now the question, because, okay, so the movie's done. It's, it's canned. We've got a release date. It's upcoming. If I'm in that boardroom at this point, I say, well, number one, we should have said something a couple of years ago, but at this point, there's no benefit to us saying anything. That's fair. It's just the, that because of the behavior escalating, I, I feel, I is the reason why it's just, oh, I, and I understand it's not the studio's responsibility to apologize for someone else's behavior. It's just that language has rubbed me the wrong way, especially when we've seen very, very public trials and studios weighing in on other people who are part of the WB family. You know what I mean? Right. But again, like a lot of people bring up the Johnny Depp situation, right? The, there is a massive difference in the Johnny Depp situation. Oh, absolutely. They hadn't started shooting the movie yet. Mm -hmm. They took him off a movie that they hadn't started shooting yet. Like with Ezra, the thing, the movie had been shot. I mean, so it's, it, again, I'm not saying there's a clear answer to this. I'm just saying, I think it's, it's convoluted. I, I just think it's complicated. And I could see them too. Like right now I'm okay with them releasing this movie and makes business sense. 
all that kind of stuff. But I also won't be surprised and I wouldn't have any problem with it if at some point down the line they decided, you know what? More stuff is coming to light about Ezra Miller. It's gotten even worse and blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, now we're going to pull the plug. Plus, we never filmed this to begin with. So. Plus, you know, we never actually, <laughs> yeah. this has been the big lie. This is, <laughs> anyway, guys, question is for you. They've decided that this movie's good, so we're going to put it out. We believe it actually contributes to increasing the public's belief in how good our movies are. So they're going to release it. Good idea, bad idea, whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.